So a player was playing in a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Online Tournament, and that player was DQ'd mid-game, by the way. The TO shut down the game in the middle of the match. It was determined by the TO that this player was stalling, and then there was all kinds of controversy over it because a bunch of people are saying it's not stalling. A couple people are saying that it is stalling. I'm honestly seeing more people say it is not stalling than those that are saying that it is. And I'm going to let you know right now, my opinion is that it was absolutely stalling. Here is the footage of the exact incident for your viewing pleasure or displeasure. For the upbeat. Getting that one to the process still on that second stock. And down to their last stock already. As we approach two minutes of elapsed time, Hyushi faces elimination here. And no, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that, bro. Don't, 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 don't do that, bro. C c bro. All right. I ain't saying nothing. I'm letting it play out first. I don't know what that was. He had 10 more seconds, otherwise I was forcing a DQ. Jar making that back, sitting at 30, sorry, sitting at 23%. That was ridiculous, man. But he killed 20 seconds on the clock. Like, what? 20 seconds. Like, I get it, it's Ice Climbers, but... Alright. Oh, it's not done. Yep. Shuts it down. That's gonna do it. Alright, so Toyara advances. I I that's that's delaying game. That's delaying, that's delaying game on stream. Triara will be advancing to top eight. For me to explain the issue that I see, and, and you know, people will still disagree with me and that's fine. I just want to explain where I'm coming from. Tournament rules are there for many reasons, but I think the most important reason for why tournament rules exist is because you want to create an environment for competition that rewards desired things, okay? Let me explain that. If you want to reward how good someone is at spacing, edge guarding, recovery, you know, comboing, whatever, then you create rules that encourage that and discourage other things that are degenerative, things that stop you from taking play, uh, you know, doing these sorts of things. If you want to reward who's the best at using items, then you create rule sets that involve the pro level usage of items. If you want to reward your players for who's the best at managing the clock while uh, ignoring everything else, then you create a rule set that does that, right? Stalling is this weird thing in every rule set that is not easily defined, right? It is one of those rules that is has always been up to TO discretion. Now that, obviously, if, if, if it's measurable, like ledge grabbing in Melee, or like peach bombing at the bottom of a stage on another stage. That's measurable, you could actually just say, no, like we have that written, you can't do that. But when it comes to stalling, a lot of events have rules, and this is the one that I found off of a Big House, but here it says, excessive unwillingness to engage the opponent is disallowed at the risk of being forced to forfeit the match by the TO. If there is no movement from either player, the losing player is considered to be stalling. Now, I don't know what rules were written out for this TO. If the TO said absolutely nothing about stalling, then maybe you'd have an argument. But in the end, I'm always going to decide on TO discretion. 
the most generally accepted rule set. Stalling or excessively delaying the game or match may result in a game or match forfeit at the discretion of the TOs. In melee, players may stall for the purpose of waiting out a particular transformation on Pokemon Stadium. Stalling must end when the neutral transformation returns as indicated by the icon shown in the in-game screen. Okay, so we got ourselves another nothing burger rule, but the same thing I'm gonna focus on here is discretion of TOs. We agree that this is how the rule is written, and I guess we just disagree on whether the discretion of the TO was good or not. I think it was. Right? As we approach two minutes of elapsed time, Hyushi faces elimination. Waits on the Angel platform, which is fine. You're taking your time to think through. And then evades to the left. It goes all the way to the left, and then doesn't move. Now, likewise, the Ice Climber's main no. also does not move oh. and stays in this spot Don't, don't entirely, do that. Right? They just... Don't, well, don't, don't. You know, at least, at least... Trey is uh, dash dancing, but you know what I mean, right? What I'm seeing here is a player that is a full stock behind that is refusing to engage. Now, it's one thing to play campy or lame, but you're still playing the game. You're still engaging. What they're doing is they're literally counting on the opposing player's frustration to cause them to approach, f*** up, and then they get a window to catch up and win. Is that a valid strategy? I say, yeah, that's a valid strategy. You can do that with players that are easily flustered. You could hang back. That is a thing that happens. I am okay with that. When you're exercising the strategy and nothing is happening in the game, that is stalling. You gotta be asking yourself, well, if it's a valid strategy, then why don't we let the players play it out to see how it works? The thing is, the tournament rules cannot be designed to encourage this to such a degree that the game is unwatchable. The rules have to state that there is a limit to people utilizing this strategy, just like there is a limit to players hanging on the ledge. There's a ledge grab limit in Melee for this very reason. If someone is behind, or maybe even in the lead. Okay, but let's say they're behind and they're hanging on the ledge, hoping that you kind of slip up, approach, and then they could end up countering you, getting an edge guard and getting the win. That is a valid strategy. We include a limit so that the game does not degenerate into this strategy, which is effective, but we do not want to reward this kind of gameplay. Here we had a situation where this player started the stock at five minutes and 10 seconds. Getting out one clipper, that's still on that second stock. Gave it a good 40 seconds. Two minutes of elapsed time, Hushi faces elimination here. To attempt this strategy, no. saw very clearly don't, after don't do 40 that. seconds that this strategy don't, don't, did don't not work that, and then chose don't, don't, to keep don't doing do that, it bro. anyways. Might it have worked bro. eventually? Maybe, but the rules are designed to not encourage right. this kind of play. And God damn it, I am very okay with that i am okay with rules being made to encourage people to actually fight in a goddamn fighting game to me the intention here was very clear there was no intention to engage they said on their tweet they were taking their time to think through a strategy brother it does not take 40 seconds to think through a strategy. That is a lot. And then as soon as engagement started happening again, they eventually went back to it and just started camping the corner. The Ice Climber didn't engage because they were in the lead. I do agree that a rule can be a little more specific, but it's hard to make a rule around stalling. Like in every rule set that I've read, there's always that part that says up to the TO's discretion because it's incredibly hard to define. I still think that if we consider stalling to be typically within the TO's discretion, I still believe that the TO is totally fine in doing what they did. That was 40 seconds of non-action, followed by a bit of engagement that was like, like where the Zelda was running away, but that was actually fighting, and then going right back to the original strategy. That's why I'm glad that the TO waited on the second instance of this happening before issuing the DQ. So how is shooting lasers across the stage even when behind? Because the lasers are a form of engagement. Like every time you shoot a laser, you're giving your opponent a moment to get in closer. And if you get caught at the wrong moment, you could be punished. Also, power shielding exists. And the character is engaging you. Yes, with the laser. The character is engaging you with part of its moveset or movement, whichever it is. 
I'm telling you, if the Zelda was even moving forward and then running away again, I would consider that some sort of engagement. Okay, so I am seeing y'all's point that the Zelda was, wasn't was being rewarded for doing this, and therefore the rules as they stood were fine. Without the disqualification, the Zelda still paid the price for this strategy. So the match therefore was totally fine to play out as is. But in my mind, the stalling rule exists to prevent such unwatchable gameplay such as this, uninteresting competition such as this, that I think it's okay that that particular rule that exists in the, in the rule set was enforced by the TO at their discretion. And I don't think the discretion was too excessive. The fact that this player went on Twitter and said they, they were coming up with the game plan for 40 seconds, get the f*** out of here. No. No. Say that to some new school Zoomer on Twitter, okay? No. That is not true. You were lying to death. And this is me. All right, people have accused me of, of camping a lot or like always running away, which I do not. I do not run away. I don't run away, chat. I reposition. I will bet a thousand dollars right now that you cannot find a match where I stand still for more than five seconds. You just cannot find that. Outside of like neutral starts, because I always did that. Outside of that, you will never find it. Do I think there should have been a warning? Yes. I think that normally that should be the case. However, they were online. So we were in this weird situation, a perfect storm, where the TO didn't really have a viable way to communicate with the players to warn them. That's what we did with the rules. And we're better for it. And that's what I'm saying here. This TO did this. We're better for it, chat. We improve now. We become a better seed. Because that specific player was DQ. <laughs> All right, that's kind of mean. Okay, look, look, look. No, I don't. No, I don't hate the. I don't hate this person. I'm, 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 I'm joking. We all thrive now, because of one player DQ. They died so we could live. But I still, I still hold that the decision was totally fine. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Good night.